So I'm just gonna risk it and try to kill the hair as fast as possible now. Either that or make him um, run out of. Ooh! I didn't have enough anyways, bro. That's what I mean. One hit KOs. He was saving up for that joint. And I have no more side rolls. I don't know if it was the computer. I don't know what it was. But hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm trying to change up my mic better. So you can hear my voice more and less game audio. Well, not saying less game audio, but I want the game audio to be there. Um, so this is called a Monster Rancher Battle Card. It's a PlayStation game or PlayStation 2 game. I don't remember exactly if it was PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. Um, most likely PlayStation 1. Super obscure. Not a lot of people know about it. I doubt it. Not a lot of people played this game. Um, I shouldn't have... There's no memory card in there. Well, there's the, my memory card. So we're going to start from the beginning. Medium. Here we go. This story also takes place during Monster Rancher times. There was a game that gained immense popularity as soon as it was introduced among the children who could not become monster breeders. It was called Battle Card. <laughs> Battle Card quickly became popular not only to children but adults as well. There was a rising demand for an arena in which real battles could take place. In order to satisfy the demand, the FIMBA and IMA created MCA, the organization designed to carry out official battle card tournaments. Sorry if I'm reading fast, I have to, and it was on such a day that... I'm going to try to read. This is a pure reading game. Um, no, I'm not going to name myself that. Uh, uh, any name suggestions before I think of a name? Because mm. I don't want to put the name I would usually put right now. I mean, it's going to show up eventually. So does it matter? I don't think anybody's going to know anyways what this means for a while. Here we go. Good to see you again, Lanzot. How long has it been since Colt and I came to your farm? You were only a rookie monster breeder in those days, and Colt just started as breeder assistant. I was worried if you two were going to be all right together. Well, Colt is going to be 15 tomorrow. I can't believe how fast time passes by. I heard you're setting up a birthday party for Colt tomorrow. Lanzot Colt is lucky that she can work with a breeder like you. Now that now what should I give her for for her birthday present? Ah, uh, I bet Colt would really love that. Okay, so I know what I am gonna give her. Lanzot, what are you gonna give her? Well let me guess, what are you going to give her on her birthday? Hmm. A good monster breeder should know what their assistant likes. Of course, you're already aware that Colt loves to play battle cards. Hmm, I think I got it. Lanzot, aren't you thinking about giving her that Phoenix card? That's called implying. I've never said that at all. You know the card your father gave you? No. Come on, you don't have to hide it. This old man can tell by the look in your eyes. Anyways... I can't wait to see the happy smile on Colt's face tomorrow. Bro, how could you do that to me? Everybody, thank you all for having a birthday party for me. It's nice to see you, Q. Colt, happy birthday. Here is a present for you. She gets flowers, mind you. She gives her flowers. Wow, what beautiful flowers. 
Thank you very much, Q. Oh, you are all welcome. Oh, you must be Colt's partner at the farm. Nice to meet you, Lanzok. My name is Curie. Please call me Q. I haven't known Q for a long time. Q is a card breeder. I just play around with the cards. But Q actually plays in the battle card tournaments. Hmm. Well, Colt, speaking of battle cards, I heard you have collected quite a few monster cards. Yes, and trust me, it was not easy. Now, here's a present from me. Um, what is this? That is a monster plate. See these square holes on the plate? That's where you can keep your monster cards. Thank you very much. Let me try putting my monster cards in here. Hmm. It doesn't even fill half the space. Hey, what's up, underrated player one? I'm just playing a Monster Rancher battle card. Honestly, I should put, I need to edit that. It's just Monster Rancher battle card. Not Battle Card 2, that's a different game. Um, but yeah, I'm just playing Monster Rancher Battle Card right now. It doesn't even fill half the space. Hopefully it looks good. I'm streaming off an original PlayStation 2 right now. Um, my HDMI adapter came in for it. I guess I have to collect a whole lot more. Oh, you should try my cards. We might be able to fill all the spaces. What do you think? Okay. I'm gonna borrow your monster cards, Q. How do I sound? I was uh, looking at some of my videos the other day, and it seemed like the background noise of the music and the sound were overpowering my voice. I'm trying to fix that. I'm like moving my microphone around and, you know, just learning as I go. No, I still need a Phoenix card. But Phoenix cards are really rare, so. I think it's really difficult to find one. Ahem. Ahem, as he wants to say. Ahem, I wonder what this man has to say. Yeah, they only have episode two. Yeah. I don't know why they keep going to say it. Maybe it's episode two and it's not part two. Ahem. You know, um, I just remembered. Lanzot has a present for you, Colt. Let's see what... I didn't have a present. Why can't I just give her flowers, too? She got flowers. The other person gave her flowers. Oh, you already gave me a great party. You shouldn't have. Oh, my. A Phoenix card. Isn't this the card your father gave you? Again. Are you sure I can keep it? No. I understand. It looks really cool. Can I at least borrow it for a second? No. Now we can complete this plate. Uh-huh. Let me put it... Let me put it on the plate Pabs gave me. Pabs is the worst. Oh! Wow! Oh! <laughs> And Master Pabs, Lanzot, Colt is gone. All the cards in the plate are gone too. What on earth is going on? Oh no, this is not the Master Pabs. What is it, Master Pabs? Tell us. There is a story behind this plate. That the one who will place all monster cards on this plate shall be taken to the paradise of monsters. Until today, I was sure it was just some fairy tale. Um, well, so is Colt now in that, uh, paradise of monsters? Yes, I'm afraid she is. I heard that there are strange monsters in the paradise of monsters. Who knows what kind of monsters they can be. I really hope Colt will be alright. Then we better go after Colt right now. Absolutely. First, the three of us must collect monster cards to put in the plate. He said the three of us, mind you. You know, I just lost all my monster cards. And the only way to collect those is exactly. Apparently, we must start collecting monster cards from scratch. Q, you help Lanzot out. First, take Lanzot to the Monster Card Association. 
the best way to collect monster cards is the is to register at MCA. That's Monster Card Association. From now on, it'll be called MCA. I agree, Master Pabs. Okay, Lanzot, let's go to the MCA. It is in the BC Center, Battle Card Center. So, um, I'm going to let the cutscenes play out first before I talk about the plot of the game. Hello, welcome to the Monster Card Association. My name is Ben Alette. I am the receptionist. You can register at MCA to participate in our monster card tournaments. Also, for our first time members, we are offering monster cards. Compliments of the Monster Card Association. Landot, to provide you a set of cards that match you, we would like you to fill out this questionnaire. There are 20 questions you must answer, all of them honestly. Let's start. If you, I ran through them before, and I ended up getting a Naga, a Tiger, and a Golem. If you just press yes for everything. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to actually try to answer honestly. That's what I'm going to do. As honest as I would. On the bus, I'd gladly give up my seat to those in need. Yes. Between school and sports, I am better at school. I have, I would say yeah. I prefer talking about my success rather than my failures. Uh, I don't know. See, I don't know. I don't know the answer to some of these questions. I would say no, off the rip. I would like to have x-ray glasses, no. I am a good listener, yes. I tend to waste my money, no. I consider myself to be a normal person, no. I keep my room neat and clean, yes. I have special skills that I can be proud of, yes. In the future, I'll be su very successful, yes. I have hardly ever told a lie, that's a no. Between a dog and a cat, I would like to have a dog as a pet. I'm sorry, dog lovers out there. I prefer cats, so that's a no for me. I think the human race will cease to exist in the near future, no, hell no. I prefer simple things over fancy things. I'm playing on a PC computer. I don't know. Besides that, in my day-to-day -day life, I'm usually pretty simple. So I want to say yes. If cockroach appears, I will ask someone to get rid of it. No, I'll, I'll smack it with my own hand. I have seen a ghost. Yes. I'm afraid of heights. Uh, kind of still a little, yeah. I would rather eat fish than meat. Ooh, that's a good question. Would you rather eat fish or meat? I think I'd prefer meat for the rest of my life than fish because I feel like there's more ways you can make meat than you can make just fish because they're not, I don't think fish is included in seafood like shellfish. Is it? I don't know. But for me, I still think that's a no. I tend to throw away things I no longer need. Yeah. I think I have more friends than the average person. I don't know how many friends the average person has. Um, so I want to say no. Thank you very much. Lanzot, the monsters most suitable for you are. So you take a questionnaire. If you go run through it, yes. You get, uh, well, I don't know if it's random or you always get the same monsters. The monsters most suitable for you are Na Gali, Naga, and Suezo. Gali's a wall, I believe. Naga's a lizard, and Suezo's a yellow monster. I'll show you. Good luck, Lanzot, and have a great day. Lanzot, I guess we are done. Let's go home. By the way, yes, I am going to save scum in this game uh, in advance. That's it's literally a, a mechanic of the game. Why not? It looks like you are done with the registration. Hi, Master Pabs. So now Lanzot is a card reader. Let me see. What monsters did you get for your starter kit? Well, well. Gali, Naga, and Suezo. First of all, Master Pabs, what are you doing to help this situation since all of this is honestly all of your fault? Let's be real. And he said all three of us. How is he helping? 
Oh, watch, watch how he helps in the future. Just watch, honestly. Looks like you got yourself a well-balanced team. Master Pabs, I told Benalette why I lost my cards. Then she made an exception and gave me three monster cards. Well, well, good for you. However, Q, remember, for the time being, you are to help Lanzot, okay? But by helping, I can't get her monster cards. I think that will be the best for all of us in the future. I agree, Master Pabs. I will do my best. Very good, Q. Lanzot, you should try to learn battle cards as quickly as you can. I will be on my own collecting monster cards. That's a lie. That's a lie. If you, if you need spoilers for a 2000 game, I will tell you. This man is a liar. Next time I see you, I want you to be strong like me. Tuh. By that time, we should have all the monster cards we need. Q will help you if you have any questions. Q. Lanzot has to learn a lot from you. Yes, Master Pabs. Very well, then. Lanzot. First of all, do you know battle card rules? Uh, just because it's a first playthrough, I'm going to say no for you guys. But I know battle card rules, so I'm going to say no. In that case, I think it is easier to show you by playing a game. Let's try playing a game for practice, shall we? I doubt I'm going to lose the practice game with the girl, but I'm still going to save it. I don't care. I'm using a real memory card from a real PS2. Memory card isn't inserted. It was definitely a memory card when we checked it the first time. Please insert memory card into memory card. I have a 128 megabyte memory card, bro. Memory card isn't inserted. What is going on? We got a problem. Oh, Lordy, Lord Jesus. Lordy, unless it's one of those only memory card slot two is gonna work. Oh! Wait. Oh, that's, that's... Hold on, I want to see something, because I have a brand new black memory card, and I'm thinking that's the one that erased my file, because I had Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories on that. And yes, underrated player one, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories on the memory card is gone forever. All that work that we put into it is gone. Okay, so for some reason, it's not reading. Oh, I think I know why. Okay. All right, all right, I remember. This is a PlayStation 1 game, and I don't think you can, oh, shit. And I don't think you can save a PlayStation 1 game on a PlayStation 2 memory card, unless I'm mistaken. Let me just double check. I could be bugging. This has been a long time. Let me check memory card slot 2 again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's why I have three memory cards. I have one gray memory card. <gasps> that's making me think. Do I have another? Sorry. Um... Mm. That makes me wonder if I have another gray memory card somewhere. I'm a little distracted here, I'm sorry. I just learned something or remembered something. So yeah, you can only save mem PlayStation 1 games on PlayStation 1 memory cards. That's a thing. Um, one second, I wanna just get some more water cause this is gonna be a whole lot of talking, a whole lot of reading. Um, I'm gonna get some water, I'll be right back. I'll leave you with the music of the game, because it's actually pretty good music. You can turn everything off. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave everything on for now just to show you guys like this game is is good. It's a good game, obscure but good.
Alright, I'm back. Um, I'm not even going to look at the cards that I have. We're going to go straight into the battle. Oh, it's not the wall. It's the sun face thing. Okay, I'm good with this. Um, I think most all cards are good, but some cards come with less guts. Like, it matters how you play the game. Some people play safe. I play more risk risky. Oh, I thought the game pro... Um, so she has a hair, a mochi, and a tiger. That's what it's called. The blue thing is called a tiger. Well, let's play a battle card game while looking at the rules. The second attacker can change two hands into guts at the beginning. You usually want to be the second attacker, in my opinion, unless you have a bunch of cards that do zero. Um, and this. So she makes two cards into guts. But she didn't make two cards into guts. Oh, she did. Okay. Why is it going so slow? Lands out to attack step, but I don't. But you see how the Swayzo comes with attack? That's a three dodge, which isn't the greatest. And a three block, but block isn't that good either. Deflects half damage, round off given by a power move to the monster. It will not deflect special move. This will always uh, dodge something. So for right now, I'm thinking I want to keep Gali alive. And these are all for four. All right, so I'm going to use this move. I'm going to try to use this move, but I'm going to get rid of three because you need guts. So I need to go into my guts phase. So I need to get rid of cards to use cards, if that makes any sense. It's like tributing. In Yu-Gi-Oh, but you have to tribute your cards to even attack. You can't tribute your cards to... Your guts increase by one for every card you flip over. You can't attack without guts. You can't do any action without guts unless that action requires zero. So I got to get rid of three to use a dodge move or four to use an attack move. But hopefully I'll get uh, an attack move that needs like two or one or, th or three. You'll see it as it goes on. The game gets deeper and deeper, and so like, it's wild. Risk, risk reward is kind of where it's at though. Since your gut step is done, Landsat's turn is over. Q's draw step. Draw enough cards so that you have five in your hand. But if you run out of cards, you also lose the game. That's another way to make people lose. So if you if they can't draw a new card, they also lose. Some, that's a hard way to learn. There's, a, there's like one NPC in the game that does that. That's his whole strategy. And you got to find a way around it. The attack, because you always, you can, you need to always have five cards in your hand. It's not like Yu-Gi-Oh! where you only draw one card. You always have five cards in your hand. The defense breeder cannot draw any cards. So I'll, I will only keep the two cards that I have. So those are the only two cards that I can use if she attacks or does an action. It's my attack step. If I have an attack card for a monster that is present, and if I have enough guts for that move, I can attack. Hmm. The attack step is done. If you have enough attack cards and guts, all monsters can attack. But one monster can attack only once per turn. However, there are exceptions. Attacks such as Thunderbolt of Pixies can attack twice or more per turn. That's why Pixies are really good cards. Um, read the card description for special moves like those. Q's gut step. This is my gut step. Unlike the beginning of the battle, I can make all cards guts. In other words, you can earn a maximum of five guts per turn, but the risk of that is you don't have any cards to use if they decide to attack you. It's, it's very high risk, high reward. I play more risky unless I'm like put in a corner. If I have like 15 cards left. I play a little more docile. Defensive. So now I have to draw enough cards so I can have five cards in my hand. Right? So I have... And in this turn, monsters in the opponent team cannot use any dodge moves. That's great, but it uses three guts, so that would be a waste. Right? So I'm thinking right now, the Naga, I would want to get rid of most of his cards. 
right? And this provoke. In the next turn, the opponent's monster can use moves that only give damage to this monster. It's like, I don't know, it's like weird Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, but then this part is when you attack, you have to think about which card or she would want to protect the most, right? And which card most likely has a dodge. In my experience, or the least amount of guts for a dodge, uh, Tiger, Hair have really low dodging cards. I, I love having a Hair and Tiger on my team. I love having very, I have very multiple teams. It worked, you're gonna see. So I'm gonna go for the Mochi actually, cause I wanna, I think that's the least, le least likely of having a dodge card. And it has like these weird things, but you'll see, you'll know if they dodge or not. If it stays black for too long, they dodged. And you can skip those cutscenes. But I choose not to. It's an attack that decreases my guts. My plans for the next attack is messed up. So yeah, you can you can do like damage to their guts, which is also a strategy, like completely attacking your opponent's guts over and over and over again. Um, so I'm gonna go into my guts phase. If you press triangle, like it, you don't. I've I've rushed these before because I get like really into it. Um, because the game is fun, at least to me. Okay, it's my turn, but now I can only protect one monster. So if she chooses to attack the lizard or the Swayzo, I have to take damage. It's my attack step. So she, let's see what she does. One, two, punch. Three. You see, and I can't block it. So I'll just, and I was already kind of using the Naga as a wall. Here's one, two, punch. Target for attack is Naga. And doesn't it have my guts? Oh no, if it's dodge, it will still give half damage. Which doesn't really matter right now to me. But there's two there's two ways you can lose. Destroy all your mon the opponent's monster cards. They're done. Or the opponent runs out of cards to use. That's it. Those are the only two ways. But me, I, I like I said, I play high risk, high reward. So I'm already thinking about what monster I want to sacrifice from the beginning of the game. Like, okay, I'm sacrificing him. He doesn't have really good cards. Use this with a power or int move. If this monster's life point is two or under, the move will become twice as strong. That card is OP, but you need it in like a good situation. Cause to get two or under is risky. Thunder is three for four, right? But I really want to kill the Mochi. And these kind of moves, AOE attacks, I think are some of the best, and I'll keep the roll. But four for two is kind of wild. Um, three for four. I'll do this. I'll do the three for four, right? I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of the mochi, right? And then I'll get rid of all of my cards. So I can use the four attack and kill the mochi on the next turn and attack the other monsters. Cause I, I need to get rid of three cards, right? But I'm a. This is the risk. I'm gonna get rid of all three of these cards. But next turn Naga could nah, cause she has two guts. You can't really do much with two. See her attack step is complete. She has to go straight into guts. She's risking it, throwing her three cards away. NPCs on hard mode will f destroy you. Destroy you. I'm telling you that right now. Like, hard mode is a completely different game. Normal, medium is easy. I don't want to say medium is easy. Medium is challenging enough. Hard mode is different, bro. Hard mode is a different breed. So this, 3, 4, 4, but there's nothing on it. 4, for 5, it's an int. There's a difference between power and int. But I'm going to use this because I want to... See if she's gonna dodge it with any of her cards. That's a great way to use these. And two, I just wanna get rid of Mochi. I'm talking strats now, but as I, just cause this is the tutorial battle, but as I keep playing, I'm probably gonna talk very little strategy and just like play through the game. See, but you see how she didn't dodge any of that with none of her cards. That means she's willing to risk the Mochi dying. So she's most likely gonna attack with the tiger or the hare and she's and now she can get rid of all her mochi cards. 
right? So next turn, I want to do as much damage as possible because I really want to get rid of the tiger or the hare, right? So I'm going to risk the Naga dying for this turn and get rid of three cards. That's what I mean I play high risk, high reward because she can kill the Naga on this turn with five guts, straight up. Hare and Tiger have really high attack moves. Told you. Fucking told you. I told you. This is what I mean. It's it's high risk, high reward. I don't have no defense cards. That's that's the that's the game. That's the game, bro. That's the game right there. So now I have to either get another card that can do attack to Tiger, which they can just give me all Naga cards if they wanted. Or I can get all defense or all special cards. So let's hope and pray. This is when you start praying. Do I get... One for one. Three for four. So this is when I can risk either the hare or the tiger. What do you guys think? Who do you think I should attack? The hare? The bunny? Or the tiger? That's what... That's that's what you have to think about right now. And there's another way to see her. I'm willing to take any suggestions. If no suggestions, I think I think I know who I want to go for. I'll give it a little more time. See if you guys give me an answer. The bunny or the tiger? One of them's gotta go, bro. That's the only way to win. One of them's gotta go. And she might dodge it. With She has two cards in her hand. And one of them most likely is a dodge card. Or both of them could be dodge cards. That's that's the that's the play right now. I'm going after the hair. Alright, let's see if it's dodged. She didn't dodge it. Boom. So now she has one monster left. Very low attack. Right. Now I can now now I can play very like risky because I can do two attacks from two different monsters at the same time. Again, I'm playing a very obscure Monster Rancher. It's called Monster Rancher Battle Card Episode Two. If you guys never heard of it, a lot of people haven't. This is like an original PlayStation 1 game. I don't think I have any now. But I'm willing to risk it. Like, not risk. I'm willing to risk the the golly dying. It's a fun game. It's like, it's like, it came out during like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon and stuff. Like that Monster Rancher era. But nobody really picked up on the card game. Because it's, again, it's obscure. You know? Who's going to play Monster Rancher Battle Card? She got, she actually got rid of all five. That means she has nothing. She's willing to die. Everything's on the, everything's on the mochi right now. And I only have, see, one for one. And a block. So I'll use this. I'll go into next and I'll get rid of two cards and I'll keep because I want to keep the golly alive just in case I need to dodge something but she has to she has to attack this turn like she has no other choice or not she got a mango there's nothing I can do for mango all written off she probably has a dodge card I got a dodge card. I got this. There's no point in using that, though. Like, right now, I wouldn't want three of those AoE attacks. Like, you can ed edit your deck. It's pretty fun. Go into your guts step. That one and that one. My controller's not working. Okay, that was weird. This 
Like, she's not attacking at all. She, it's, the game is over. The game is over for her. But now they're giving me all these Naga cards that I don't need. You just spit on them. Just spit on them, bro. That's wild. Spoof. Dead. Game over. You just started. Uh, yeah, Mr. Nice Guy. I just started. I was just... I'm really just talking and explaining, like, the gut step and stuff. Um... And like, how do you, how do you, basically like how to play the game. I was gonna, I was literally gonna text you like I'm playing battle card. I was gonna hit, uh, send you a message, I'm playing battle card too if you want to see. Um, and I answered the questions as honest as possible. Um, so we're just gonna move forward. How do I sound though? Because I, again, I'm trying to work on my voice versus uh, audio, like game audio. Because I was looking at some other, my old videos that I've been putting on YouTube. Just like from a, a viewer perspective. And I just noticed, I was like, wow, my game audio sounds kind of loud compared to my voice. You know? That is a critical, that is critical. A limited card. You can make your team stronger with that card. Card management. Hold on, there's a motorcycle outside. Is the menu where you can change your skill cards. Um, for my team, I usually go Dino. I love a Dino on my team. The powerhouse team is Dino, Golem, Whale. And you give them all like little attack guts cards, like two, three attack, and they can just fucking body teams, bro. It's dis it's disgusting. Uh, just a moment, we might have a visitor. Hello, this guy is your rival of the game. Hi, Lanzot. My name is Miller. I was right behind you at registration. You remember me, right? No. Um, well, that's not important. I registered myself after you, you see. So Lanzite and I are kind of classmates. So as your rival, I came to battle you. Did you say rival? Yeah, exactly, your rival. So what do you say, Lanzite? You want to play a game? Okay, let's bet a card and play a game. I'm going to save scum this because I'm not about to lose to my rival. Before we begin, don't you think that the outcome of the battle depends on the card? Well, of course, it's always better to have more cards. The volume is good right now. You can hear it game, but we can hear you more, which is good, especially for this game. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I, well, just like I'm just watching other people and as I'm watching there, you know, just like doing a little research, I guess. I'm like, wow, their game audio is lower than their voice. Like, not like significantly, but enough that you can hear their voice more than their video game that they're playing. Exactly. So if you want to know which one of us is the better card breeder, I say we should fight using the same cards. This is a great mechanic um, that I think other games do not implement because it makes you, well, I think Forbidden Memories <clears throat> does it where you have to fight your own deck and other Yu-Gi-Oh games, but this this is not a mechanic a lot of games do, where you have to like fight yourself, that shadow mechanic, and you have to see if you can defeat your own deck, which is pretty cool. That's the only reason the rival fight is cool. I say we should fight using the same cards. Okay, I guess. And how are we going to do that? Lanzok can decide the lineup for the team, then I will use exactly the same cards. If there are any cards I don't have, you can let me use some of yours. These guys are straight moochers, bro. Like, this whole game. Okay, that sounds fair. Lands up. This will be good practice for you. Bro, it's a it's a lot of, uh, like, I don't want to say training montages. But a lot of... What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Whatchamacallit? Like, learning... What? Why can't I think of it right now? Tutorials! Tutorial tutorial battles. There's a lot of tutorial battles in the beginning of the game. Because this game is... As a kid, it wasn't easy to get into. Um, but once you understand the mechanics, bro, it's, it's fire. Like, at least in my opinion. This doesn't matter. It's literally left or right. It, it is not, like, some secret way... To get it, I usually just mash X and I get it right. <laughs> Listen. Um. Okay, let's start. 
The breeder with second attack can select up to two. But I'd prefer not to be the guy. Um, oh, no, because, no, you want to be first because you can, you can rack out your whole hand. You can get rid of all five cards if you wanted to. Which I might do. Because from what I understand of my deck right now, right? The ones you want to get rid of the fastest are the Gali and the Suezo. Because the Naga doesn't really have a lot of low attack cards unless he gets them. So I want to go into... I want to literally just get rid of three cards right now. So one, two, three. And I'll keep the lie down. That... All card games, though, I feel. It's a lot to grasp right away. Yeah. A lot of a lot of beginning tutorial battles, man. And the thing that, that's getting me either upset or I have to go back home and check. Because if this is a memory card with a brand new PlayStation 1 card, and you can only play PlayStation 1, say PlayStation 1 games, I might have a memory card back home with my Forbidden Memories file on it. I'm finished attacking. Miller's Gut Step. Yeah. Miller makes one cards its guts. See, I would never do that. He's not playing the deck right. I would I would never do that. That's how I know. That's how I know he has a dodge card in his hand. So I'm a, I, I think I want to use spit, but we're getting rid of the golly, bro. Because either he's going to dodge it, and I can use the next turn to spit on him. Golly Swayzo got to go first. three right so now it's only one Ooh. one for two or three for four no I'm gonna just go for one for two and get rid of thunder and this or or keep no 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 I want to I want to get a fresh hand and there's no point in keeping thunder I'm finished attacking. Get out of town, bro. You didn't even attack yet. Old school games with the long animations. I know. I could turn off animations and stuff. Oh, this is a better card. I'm going to use this. Hit the golly. Try to get rid of some of his uh, guts. Okay, I'm about to say, did he dodge it? No. And then I'm going to spit on him next turn. Like Forbidden Memories when you turn on the 3D. Oh, that's what I mean. I wanted to show you guys. I did so much work in Forbidden Memories, man. I had so many of the monsters. Like, I almost 100% of Forbidden Memories. There's a lot. Of, I had the 3D. I had uh, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, bro. I wanted to show you guys that in 3D. Not a lot of people get to see that unless you're on YouTube. I'm talking about seeing it live where somebody actually did it. Now I'm going to have to do the work again. Because I am I want to do the work on a PlayStation memory card. Like, yeah, I can have a modded game file but that's not gonna hit the same as a playstation memory card if that makes any sense you know like doing it on a real like he's just collecting guts and i don't understand why either he has a one hit ko attack he's going going for because i don't have a lot of one hit ko's but he's he's going down bro next right four i don't need like like high attack right now is not what i need like i prefer like low attack cards one two three unless like you're using a big attack that you're risking it all for like a headbutt or a charge that's what dino is good for yo see i beam i just got rid of i beam i don't even care about the naga i'm willing to get rid of him that's like my Defense monster. That's my shield, bro. I'll block for the Gali and the the Swayzo. I mean, I don't know how the MP. Oh, death? Is that death? That's that's straight up death. Good shit. I see. I told you he's going for one one turn kill. There's only one thing he's doing there. So I guess the computer thinks Naga. And the Swayzo are the stronger cards. But he did also rack up guts for Mad Long. Five for eight. 
you know oh oh yes oh yes this is a good card too adds one damage point to the damage given to by power or int moves but he doesn't have and then we'll get rid of that again one guts he's gonna have to either get rid of mad cards to block or do something else there's no 3D mode in this game, but at least they have certain animations. I'm not going to turn the animations off because I think they're cool. Um, and it brings me back to that nostalgic age. But also, I am Mr. Nice Guy. This is on a, a PS2 HDMI adapter. Monster Rancher isn't like Pokemon. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I kind of said that in the beginning. It's like you have to tribute... Yeah, it's weird with it off. Yeah, it just goes by... I mean, it's going to go by faster if you're going to do that. Um, but yeah, I was saying at the beginning, because you have to tribute your cards to do an action, right? It's not like where in Yu-Gi-Oh! you have to tribute your monsters to put down another monster. This is different. Your monsters are on the board. So imagine you can already have your Blue Eyes, your Dark Magician, and all your other cards, but you have to sacrifice, like, your deck to even make your Dark Magician or Blue Eyes attack your teammate or your, your opponent. But if your opponent attacks you, you still need guts to dodge something. Like, that's the wild part about it. It's a good, it's a good game. It's a good game. Um, but the Naga has to die. I Because I, I don't think he can block an int move. That's what I meant. Like, he's not, eh, not playing the deck right. Miller's Naga was KO'd. And now... We get rid of the Swayzo. So you be like, I don't need two dodge cards in my hand. This is where it, this is where it all starts. Opponent breeder will lose one guts if this does if this gives damage. I have a defense card, but I'm not gonna use it. Because I'm willing to lose the guts. Because I would lose one versus three. Miller's guts step. Hey, he's he's going to go down, bro. And he knows it. He has one mon you he he can still win with, mo with one monster left though i'm just going to bully him oh he used the side roll really i told you he's keeping the swayzo alive he's happy that he dodged that don't be happy that you dodged that so what did you guys have for dinner or how was your day? I ended up having fish and rice from the halal spot around the corner from me. He's spitting on me. He's trying to get he's trying to get rid of the golly now. I'll I'll wait until like I'm really low health before I use a dodge card. I'm not about to do that now. But I am gonna play a Yu-Gi-Oh game eventually on the stream. I was thinking about maybe doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories today, but my heart still can't take the fact that I lost all that uh, information that I worked so hard for. It's still two for two, but this is a better two for two. Because he has beam, right? So I have to have enough to dodge next turn. So I'm going to get rid of Swayzo's roll. And this... No, didn't I already get rid of one to lie down? Yeah, but I want to attack. See, this is what I mean. High risk, high reward. What do you do? Get rid of the lie down? Or do you attack next turn? I had hot wings and rice. That's pretty good. Do you have any sauce with your hot wings? Like ranch, buffalo, barbecue, French, KFC, leftover sweet and sour that you might have had in the fridge. Uh, 
So one for one. One, three. And then I can get rid of the belly blow and another side roll. But the side roll is is zero, right? You don't need any guts, or is it one? It's one, and this is three. Hmm. Hmm. I'll keep the side roll for now. I'm gonna play it just a little safe because I'm down to 20 cards. Tail slap. All right, this is when you decide. Side roll now, lose one, or lose two points and lose and still lose guts. I'll lose two points, still lose guts. Yeah, more hot sauce. Uh, hot sauce on hot wings, that's wild. Um, no, I'm, I had grilled fi Oh, no. I'm not going to do anything now. He has those weight... Oh, that means I have that card in my deck. I never really use help. It's a free, it's a free attack card. If you're, if you don't have an attack card for a monster, it's pretty good. You can't. I don't think. I think you can only have one in your deck though. And you can't KO a monster with it. You can only do like one more damage. Alright, so this is the question. He has eight, right? I know for a fact, for a fact, Swayzo has attack cards that do more than both of these monsters. So I could get rid of three and save Dolly, but I'm just gonna save two and hope to God he doesn't attack. Alright, we should be good then. That's a lie. We're not good, but at least we're good for next turn. Just in case. If I can dodge an attack, mm, I might have to just take the sacrifice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Too bad. Too bad. I just messed up his whole, his whole plan. That's how you dodge, bro. That's why you save your dodge cards. Because he had a plan. He did double damage. He was about to do double damage and kill my Suezo. All three? Zero. That means he has either a dodge card or an attack card ready. But I got one for two. Oh! This is the plan. I'm going to use this. I'm going to bait out the roll if he has a roll. He doesn't have a roll card. And this is one. Remember how I said that that card cannot kill? So you bring him down one. You can you can bait. You can bait a roll because he's so low. I'm back and I verified my account. Okay, thank God because I want to take off that unverified thing. I'm glad you did that. I'm glad you did that. There's nothing I can do. See, I know I know my deck, bro. Get out of my face. Russell, Russell. See, if I drew this earlier, my man's are trying to John, making excuses. That wasn't so bad. Landsop made up the team so naturally. Lanzot should win the battle. Lanzot made the team because you told Lanzot to, Miller. So, there were some cards I have never seen before. Miller, you don't like to lose now, do you? Um, anyways, I think I will return to the center to get more cards. What are you going to do? We are planning to collect all the monster cards. The monster cards, huh? That won't be easy. Except for the first three monsters, you don't really get new ones. Unless you win in a tournament or something. 
Yes, we know. We are planning to attend tournaments. But I think that is going to take forever. So we're planning to play with people that have extra monster cards. Well, I don't know. You need a really good card to bet against someone's monster card. That's no problem. Look. Wow. I knew you had the critical, but I didn't think you would have that many. I collected these a long time ago. With those cards, you can find plenty of opponents. I think you should start from the center. I'm sure you can find plenty of card readers. Okay, we'll do that. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Q. See you later, Lanzot. Let's play again someday. And even though you beat your rival down, he still gives you some cards, which is nice. So every time you beat somebody, they give you cards. But that doesn't mean they give you cards related to your team, which is the wildest part. So I get a pixie card. I don't have a pixie, you know, glare. The most I would probably want, three for two, because this will not be dodged. Footwork, press. Mochis are great to have. Uh, Phoenix cards. Gels. Another gel. That's what I thought was the wall. It's called a mono. That's the name of it. The ghost. The plant. The worm. The, um, the cat doll. I forgot its name. The Mew or something like that. But yeah, there's plenty of different... Lanzot. Today, let's go somewhere. Places we can move right now are BC laboratory and the farm bc center is where we did the breeder registration laboratory or laboratory however you want to say is where they make cards from the saucer stone cd so you can still do like the monster rancher thing <laughs> you can still do the monster rancher thing where you get new cards from your uh cds or discs but instead of monsters, they're cards. And that doesn't mean they're going to be good cards. They're actually pretty shitty. If you want to advance the calendar without any card battles, move to the farm to rest. According to Miller, the card breeders hang out at the BC Center. Let's go check out the BC Center. So, uh, I'm going to talk about the plot of this game in one second. Let me just... I'm not going to save it now because you can just save it before every, every battle. One second. I'm just going to get some... I did not know how much talking out loud is is in <laughs> I forgot. I honestly forgot how much out loud talking is in this game. Like how much I have to talk. You know? Uh cuz I I mean I am choosing to read it out loud cuz I think that's easier for everybody else so that way you don't have to read. I'm not going to force you guys to read. Um be right back though. All right, I think I got like another hour in me. So let's do it. We're gonna move to the BC Center and basically this map is gonna fill up with other places you can go and you have to go to them at specific times and it'll kinda tell you how to do it, but all you really have to do is get all the monster cards to fill up the tablet. And once you fill up the tablet, you'll get like a story event that happens 
um, in the game where they'll tell you like, oh, now that you fill up the plate, you can go here and do this thing. Um, but that's that's literally the plot of the game. You you go to tournaments, just like other any other Monster Rancher. You beat people in tournaments and you move forward. And but instead of getting a rank, like getting S rank or A rank or that crown rank that you would get, you get um, monster cards. What do you want? I was just wondering if you have any extra monster cards we can battle for. In return, we will use our critical card. Sounds very good, but I promise to practice with my fellow members. We'll have to try someone else. Oh, I see. He doesn't look busy. Don't you think he could play one game before his friends come? Ha ha ha. You two are very brave, asking Espada to battle with you. That's a... Damn, I want a new, new age monster rancher. Bro, I would love a monster rancher where like you have to travel around with like I don't know let me let me let me read through this first and I'll talk about it during the battle card game you see Espada is the leader of the battle card breeders BCB BCB is really famous and boy are they really good and yes they are really good see BCB is made of people who want to get really good at the game they only play against really good players you know why they say that bad players can bring you down you mean that's right he thought you were a bad player how dare him Look at it this way. Some guys only play with the weak players to collect cards. I think that's a good idea. Like bullies. They bully people into getting more cards. Hey, do you want to play with me? I'm Daniel. He literally told you what his whole plan is. I have an extra monster card I can bet. To be honest, I want your critical. You know, that's a limited card. Listen to his... Forget it. You have a monster card? In that case, we would love to. Lens that I'm sure will be alright. Even if we lose... I still have lots of critical cards, so don't worry. She literally has a giant collection of critical cards. I'm not going to talk as much during my thought process unless it comes down to like a de really big defensive move that I think is going to work from now on because I'm going to end up like losing my fucking voice. Um, but I will, I will go out of the way to read uh, if they have like talking parts for the NPCs. Oh, wait, no, go back. Like I said, you can always just save it before any battle. So it kind of, kind of, you can just save scum it all and never lose. Um, but that's just life. Move on. Just, you know, restart it. I only have one team. Of course, lady. Again, I prefer to be a first because I can get rid of all five cards if I want. But I'm just going to mash through it. Or I could ask you guys left or right, you know, but L or R. I usually go left, though. Oh, I should have went right. Damn. Oh, well. Um, willpower is not needed. And this is not needed. But I can go next. Oh, for a new age monster answer, imagine like... I don't know, I think the other monster, I think it was Monster Rancher Evo, and it was another Monster Rancher where you had like a carnival. See? He goes hard, but look at his hand. He has a worm, a golem, and a suezo. Bro. Worm, golem, suezo. Like, that is terrifying. That is terrifying. But you know what? I might have to, I might have to get rid of the golly here. But I can't attack. I'm going four for five on the golem. And then four for five on the next one. See, yeah, I almost skipped it. I almost skipped my guts phase there. Cause he's gonna he's gonna start flicking me and hitting me ASAP. That's why you go for the golem. His, I think his golem is the is his uh his attacking card. If he's using recharge, that means his next attack on the next turn is gonna um, be stronger. And it could just be flick because it's two. Again, I just I have a lot of I remember a lot of this game. Four for five. Four for five. Five. Seven? I can kill the Suezo. I could kill the Suezo. You think I should kill the Suezo instead of the golem?
Fuck. This is the part where I'm thinking hard, like, because I could kill the Suezo right now. Four for five. That's five, and that's seven. Kill the yellow one. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. But the risk is, if his golem hits me with a strong attack, I could lose a lot here. I don't know, LOL. Bro, I mean, that's the risk, you know? I would... But that's what I mean. I play high risk, high reward. Because I could lose a monster on this play. Well, not lose a monster, but... He... Oh, I thought he dodged it. If, it's, if it goes black too long, he dodges it. Um, and that's that's it. That's all I can do right now. I'm thinking about getting rid of the whole hand. That's what I'm gonna do. There's nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> He's just wasting his recharge. Unless you can, unless you can stack it, but I don't think you can. I don't think you can stack anything like that in this game. You can only stack combo moves. Four cards. He's risking it all for the next turn. I have to hit the golem. I really hope I get an, a, something to hit the golem with. I can do two things here. And then risk it for the next turn. Right? Hit the golem. He loses one more one gut here. I said I wasn't going to talk. But I like talking about my thoughts one of those thinking games you know and then I can make him lose a gut so he can only have two which makes him waste his turn and then I only need one card really or should I take two I'm gonna take two I remember when I was uh I was living in Buffalo, and this is when I first bought the game. Mind you, when I first bought the game, they sent me a music CD instead of a game. Like, it looks just like the Monster Rancher Battle Card CD, but it's only the music from the game. It's not the game itself. That's the craziest shit ever. Five. Two. You see? Keep him on his toes. We got a spit. We got a five for eight. I can get rid of three cards, but that means getting rid of this. All right, if the golly dies, that's it. Discard all cards and draw as many as you discarded. He used refresh. See, he's, he's a he's a NPC that's willing to risk it all, bro. So, the thing about Golem is they can never dodge. They can only block. So, he can block, I think, f up to five or three. But he didn't. Boom. Golem gone. And now, I'm willing to risk a monster. So, I'll risk... Um, I can risk it all, honestly. But Naga... And for, cause for him to win, win with Worm, that means he's bumping most of his hand. Nah, I'm good. Four points of damage. All your cards? Three cards. What is this? Provoke. I got two. One for one. One for one. I'm gonna go for the one for one now. No, 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 no. Because he's obviously going after the golly. So I'm just gonna get rid of all the golly cards and keep the Naga and the Suezo cards. Watch this come to bite me in the ass. Oh, no! I meant to get rid of Provoke. That's what I meant by sometimes I rush. 
through the gut step. Oh, I got spit though. I'm gonna spit on him. Adds one damage point to the given. No. So that's one. That's seven. That's three though. I don't have three. I'm gonna use this. The iconic Monster Rancher monsters were Suezo, Tiger, Hare, Golem. After that, most people probably don't even know some of the cards that you're about to see. Like the Sun, the, the Sun Head, the Durahan, the Sword, the Empty Sword, the Worm. The Worm was, I think, was a villain monster. I tried to get into the Monster Rancher show at one point. It wasn't it wasn't hitting, you know what I'm saying? It, it just wasn't hitting. Maybe one day. Maybe I could do a review of it. Is it Mo Oh and Mochi. Yeah, Mochi is the mascot. Mochi is the mascot. I forgot about Mochi. Um Yeah, the a good a good balanced team is Mochi Hair Swayzo, Mochi Hair Tiger cuz Tiger hits a, a fuck up. 3 for 4, 3 for 3, 2 for 2. I thought he blocked it. The whack. So yeah, now I'm just gonna kill the golly. Well, not kill him, but like even now, I would want to get rid of the dodge roll because my man is on one. And what can he really do? But I'm not because he can do something. With nine on a worm, he can do something. Like there's one, there's like one hit KO moves in this game that if you don't have a dodge or a defense card, you you're gone. Oh, dragon! Dragon is a crazy one too. Dragon, Dino, Golem. That's a crazy deck. Super powerful. Yeah, but I'm not using that anymore. Hit him with that. I think for a... a I think this is probably one of my best uh, PS2 adapters. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, like on my TV, it doesn't look super perfect and I can switch it let me show you I think these adapters are cool you can switch it to bigger to the wider but it looks so weird when it's wide like that I prefer it when it's small like that smaller compact look all of Daniel's monsters have been KO'd lands out as the winner I gave up in the middle of the game. And remember, he said he has a monster card to give us. I want you to remember that. That's what he said. That's why he dueled us from the beginning. I think I could have KO'd at least one monster. Get the fuck, bro. Well, you're pretty good. I'm in a group called Fire Dragons, and I do pretty good there. Oh, and this is the card I promised. <sighs> Look at that. You can't double. If you already have the card, it doesn't matter. Oh, a Swayzo monster card. Come back if you want to battle with me again. I'm always here with my friends. Okay, I'll see you around. Good for you, Lanzot. Let's keep collecting the monster cards. And he's supposed to give me a stack. So I think that means Swayzo might be my, my killer. If he gets a lot more cards that are one for one. Spit, we're putting another spit in. Teleport, we're putting teleport in. Tail slap, hell yeah. Bite, oh my god, yes. Tongue. Mm. This one is, this, this, this is a good one. But it's risky. Opponent breeder will lose all gusts if this gives damage. It's four for two, though. Eye beam is good. Scouting is all right. I want to get rid of the other provoke. And if I get another side roll, that's good, too. But you want to have a balance. You want to have, like... Because you have a limit to the amount of cards you can have. I'll show you. Um, I don't... You don't have any single... You go to your teams, right? Then you go to... Is it reformation? Right, and then see how every card, you want to have that balance. 15, 15, 15. And then breeder cards, monster cards. So 
if I want to go to my monster cards, that means I'm risking getting rid of some other monster cards. Or I can just go to Suezo himself. Hold on. Hold on. Monster cards are the monster that you're trading in. Skill cards are the skill cards that your monster uses. Those are different. Sorry. Sorry. So if you go to Suezo, we got three spits in already. We don't have any teleports. Three tail spikes. Do you see how I don't use... I don't... I won't... I don't see myself using Kiss. So I'll bring... Take out Kiss and I'll put in teleport. Because this can't be dodged. You want... You want stuff like that. This will not be dodged. This will not be dodged. I-beam. We definitely got to get rid of at least one I-beam. One provoke. We already have three side rolls. Dang, bro. He has nothing good, really. Oh, okay. So we get rid of one I beam. Give two. And we put one bite in. Scouting is not that good. Provoke is alright. Yo, it'll skip opponents next turn. That's crazy. But yeah, you, this is all you really get for skill. You get more skill cards as the game goes on, but. You don't even use glare. But see how the empty slots are spaces where new monster skill cards go. And golly, barely got anything new. Holy Ray. Um, right? That was the only thing. Oh, wait, did you get any new skill cards? And these are the breeder cards. Reborn. That's the Phoenix card. They always give you that. And any monster card is just stuff like willpower, critical. Use this with either power intelligent moves. Adds two damage points. So I'll probably get rid of willpower for critical. And Poe. This monster is not allowed to use any block or dodge cards until its next turn. Makes your power int moves twice as strong in the next turn. That's crazy. Probably put that in. How much is it? One? But you're risking a monster. I could I could experiment with that. I don't really experiment much. No, no, not end. Yes. I thought that meant end the team. Like destroy it. Um you wanna s no, I don't wanna save. And now you just move to another place. But really, the only place you can go is the BC Center. Same worth, yeah. Hi, hi, good to see you. Meet my two friends. Oh, and you can't have two monsters. You can't have two. You cannot have two Swayzos. Like, you can't have two Golems. They all have to be three different monsters. Unless you... Well, that's later on. When you guys stay with me for the, for the beating of the game. Be my team members are members of the Fire Dragons like me. This is Alice. Nice to meet you. And this is Toy. Hi there. Q, I heard that you have a critical. Is that true? Yeah, it is. Wow, that's so cool. Well, then let's play. I'm going to, to bet Mochi. Mochi's a great fucking card. I want critical too. No. Toy, I, want, I know you don't have any extra monster cards. Q is going to play with me first. Right, Q? I will bet my 10 skill cards. Play with me first. Okay, okay. If 10 is not enough, I will bet 15. Oh, well, if you insist. All right. No, wait, no, I get to choose. Why should I? Okay, you two, no fighting, okay? We have plenty of critical cards, but if you want our critical, you have to beat us. I'm going to win. Me too, me too. Wow, you both seem very confident. Hold on while we get ready to start. Um, here we go. Uh, again, you can just fucking save scum, bro. I'm not about to lose to some little guy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, just want to save. Save it real quick. Come back at it. Save it again. Because I'm an old man. And old us old school people know. You got to save it twice just in case. Save it twice just in case. I don't know why. I don't know why that's so ingrained in me.
we will now decide who attacks first. I am Mr. Nice Guy says he usually goes right, so I'm gonna go right this time. And I should have stuck to my guns. Alice, girl, worry, Lanzot, starting team. She has a gel, a golem, and a mochi. I would think because she bet the mochi card, mochi is her jam, and gel is her jam, because gel is a powerful card. Um, feel free to ask me anything if you guys want. You know, tell me how your day was if you want to get any advice on anything as well. I take care of plants and fish. That's the only advice I can give right now. I mean, and life advice if you want that from a random stranger from the internet. Also, before I go into it, my whole playthrough of Ratchet and Clank is online on my YouTube channel and my playthrough of uh, Dark Souls 3. Yeah, hold on. Um, I'm gonna read your thing right now. Alice has got some. What should I leave? Um, Cause when you're playing a game like Makai Kingdom, doing a tapping floor dungeon, and you save but forget to hit X one more time, and lose hours of progress, you double save. Yeah, the double saving, man. That's like an engraved, ingrained thing in my brain. This is what I mean. I have all these good attack cards. I'm gonna hit the gel, bro. I'm worried about the gel, to be real with you. Oh, was this? Oh, yeah. Uh, my Dark Souls 3 playthrough is online. I'm finally... I think I'm getting really decent at editing. If you guys want to check it out. At least the Dark Souls 3 playthrough. And I'm gonna put the New Game Plus Big Head Mode Ratchet and Clank playthrough online uh tomorrow morning that one i'm telling you i think my editing skills are really getting a lot better like right now i'm already thinking about how to edit not a lot better but like it's something i'm liking and enjoying they gave me look at this two dodge cards and when did i lose all my guts uh, you, i already attacked that's why i wanted to use the four for two but it makes no sense But yeah, Bill, feel free to check it out. Um, again, I'm just like learning. I would just want to learn how to do. Damn that! That is loud. Um, I'm for the gel. I told you the gel. She wants that gel to be healed, bro. I'm worried about the gel. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Um, so yeah, I'm just enjoying like learning and doing something new. Uh, but I really want to start playing Smash Bros on stream soon. That's my that's my next goal. But like, I just I wanted to play like Monster Rancher Battle Card Two. I wanted to play Ratchet and Clank. I wanted to do a Dark Souls playthrough. Like, I want to play all these different games. Like, I haven't played Smash Bros in days, bro. Like, I want to say at least a week. Which isn't something I usually do. Okay, ooh, I really want to use the flame wall, but it's I feel like it's not gonna be good for this this uh for this lady. What I wanna learn how to do is like learn how to put like you know how people put memes and audios in their videos? I wanna learn how to do that next. I think that's my next goal. I mean, on top of like learning how to do Twitch and I want to ha learn how to do more interactive stuff with my um, viewers and followers, like voting and the bits thing where they can drop bits in a cup. I'm not saying I care about the bits thing. But, like just learning how to do it is where is my goal. Um, I don't even care if she's hitting the mochi right now. that and just having uh learning how to have decent microphone to game audio that's another thing i'm trying to learn how to do because i don't 
want the music to overpower me all the time. I think I'll use this. I'm all done. I don't think I have to read all of their NPC chat. I'll be right back. They usually just repeat themselves. The Rot Maker game? Okay. Draw enough cards so that you have five in your hand. Um, lands out to tax step. Um. Ooh, somebody could die. Three for four right now. Pray. Pray. Pray she doesn't have something to block or dodge this. She, oh, I thought if it stayed black any longer, it would have been over. All right, next goal, kill the mochi. So we're gonna win one for one and then we're gonna save this. So we need to get rid of one card. And it's either, mm, I'm risking you. Because I want to keep the side roll. Told you. I, I knew. I knew. I knew it. I know she's going for the golly, bro. That's so why I said risking it. For some reason, the the NPCs think golly is is boss. I mean, he is though. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's just that the Naga doesn't have. He only has like maybe two or three good attack cards. Versus the. Hold on. All right. Nah, she, her mochi is what she's trying to save the most, right? So wouldn't it be better to try to kill the golly? I'm gonna go for the four for six on the golly because she hasn't used the dodge card yet. Yeah. Do 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 do. Do 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 Scratch who you scratching? Oh, they, she's going after Swayzo. All right, all right. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the dodge card up until I'm a can kill the Swayzo. This is when I start thinking like, okay, now that the NPCs are. Are trying to kill somebody? No cards for guts. Why? Provoke. So what do you guys think of the game so far? You know, let me know. Do you think? I mean, I like this game. I have a like sentimental take on this game. We ended up getting this game by accident and ended up loving it. Who's she attacking? The, the Swayzo? I need my four guts to attack next turn so I can't dodge yet. If she attacks twice, I'm gonna dodge. Um, we had got it at Blockbuster by accident, thinking it was a regular Monster Rancher game. 
And she can't even dodge. She can't even dodge with the golly because he needs three. Yeah, I like it too. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I am Mr. Nice Guy, you know. I'm glad you like it. Thank you so much. I mean, I know it's an obs like again, I know it's an obs very obscure uh, game that not a lot of people have heard about before. Um, so I'm thinking, should I just sacrifice the Swayzo, bro, at this point? It looks like she's going after Swayzo hard. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to risk all the cards except the teleport. Tomorrow I'll try to play Smash. I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll, that's my best target. How many guts do I lose? Oh, wait, no. I lose one gut? Because I still need... I just need two. Okay, two is fine. One for two? Now we're going for the you can't dodge. And then we'll get rid of this and this. Because then I can still attack with the Swayzo next turn. That's what I mean by having low guts attack cards. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm going to side roll it, and then I'm going to hit her next turn. Mochi licking. Swayzo use roll. Of course I'm going to dodge. One for one? Nah, we're going for one for two because you can't even attack next turn. <laughs> this, this might be your last turn, Swayzo. Always five cards. Bro, the game is over. One card. This is what I mean. Now that now the computer doesn't know what to do. I mean I'm not mad about it. No 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 I'm not mad about it. Two. One. That's three. Or three whack. Three to four. She might dodge this though. Oh! All of Alice's monsters have been KO'd. Lands out as the winner. Okay, that's a good card. Mochi. We will take really good care of him, okay? Let's play one more time. Please, I'm going to win this time. Alice, that's not fair. Now it's my turn. No! I want to play again. Ugh. <sighs> It's getting late. Is it, is it alright with you? Really? Oh my gosh. Mommy is going to be upset. Me too. It's all your fault. You always play too slow. It's not my fault. I really wanted to play with you guys. Oh, we will be back. Really? Promise, promise. Okay, then I'll go home now. Me too. Boy. Lanza, we should go home too. Now let's see the new cards we've acquired. 
Mochi, the monster. Slap. Slap is, see how slap is zero for one? Zero guts, one attack. Mochi is OP. Roll more. You want more roll. You have to get three rolls, three slaps. Thrust is good because it can't be dodged. Oh, I think I might put mochi. They gave me good mochi cards. They gave me good mochi cards, bro. I wouldn't use licking, though. Pedal wind. I wouldn't. Pedal Wind is like Flame Wall, but better. I think I would trade in my Golly for Mochi, honestly, right now. Four for six. Hide. Changes the target of the power and moves to another. This is messed up. To another monster on your team. Roll. Oh, yeah, these are good. These are good. Those are good Mochi cards. Um, we have one more battle to do, and then I'm going to call it a night. So give me a second. Well, not the next zone. We don't have a next zone yet. BC Center is the one zone we have. And the next fight. Well, the next plot point. Toy Toy, they're here. Yeah, you're here. You kept your promise. Of course. I have to warn you, I'm going to win. I practiced with Alice many, many times. I've also practiced with Alice many, many times. Uh, not in the wrong way. I mean in battle cards. Uh-huh. And we practiced with Zeta, too. Zeta? He is the leader of the Junior Fire Dragons. He's always practicing with the big boys. Probably today, too. Forget that. Let's start playing. Q, can I watch, please? Sure you can. Lanzot, let's get ready. Battle start. Oh, no, 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 no. I, again, I always want to go battle start, but you can always save it before the battle. Always try and save it before the battle. Um, and now let's do a quick battle. Let's get on with it. We will now decide who attacks first. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my. Oh my god! I've just been wrong a lot. But you see, he has hair. The Dino is deadly. Hair, Dino, Golem. This one. I'm going to try and keep the Naga alive just because he has the counter for the block. Because the Dino does so much damage. Dino is one of my favorite monster cards. It's a very high risk, high reward monster. Very high risk, high reward. Um, so I'm going to get rid of it first. The two mon- well, this, his whole hand. All of his monsters are deadly. Honestly, all of his monsters are deadly. I want to use Thwack next turn. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Do, do, do. 
Again. Oh. No, but I need the three. I'm really trying to get rid of that dino, man. He can kill each one of my monsters. He dodged it. Told you. I knew it. I knew the dino was deadly, bro. He can kill each one of my monsters with just one hit now. I'm gonna keep that. That way I can bring him at least down to four next turn. I might be dead, though. Throw away on the Naga. You see what I said? He is deadly, bro. This man don't play. This man do not play. He's ready to murk you. Murk you. Well, I wasn't going for Naga attacking anyways. But still. Wow. They screwed me. That's four. I would lose two guts though. And I would have to get rid of one of these. I think the Naga's already dead. i am be real with you. I think the Naga's already dead. What does that do again? And then we hit this. Oh, I thought he dodged it. But you see how the screen is just a little blacker than usual? That's how you know it. He dodges. We'll get rid of both of these. No point. Man's dead anyways. Get some, get some apple juice. A little better than water right now. Hugo de manzana. Uh oh. Naga is dead. Uh, no. Who are you attacking, though? Oh, it's an. I forgot about hot battle. It's a good card. I forgot about the card. Basically, there's like. There's cards that stay on the field, like field bonus cards. And this, the one he played his environment card adds one damage point to the damage given by power or intelligent move that's why hot battle is good i thought it was uh uh ooh, 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 two two three for four so that'd be three for five two side rolls i don't have nothing if he doesn't attack the naga something might die next turn if this makes an opponent's monster impossible to what? Oh, Golly is fine. Can't attack. Okay, I wasn't attacking with Golly anyways. That might be a dodge card just for the Dino, bro. I'll be real with you, but the Dino has to go. The Dino has to go. That's like a one. Oh, oh, oh! If it would have stayed blacker just a little longer, he would have dodged it. But they, see how you can get a really bad hand of three dodge cards? Like, that's not great. So I have to get rid of one. And get rid of one. Because that means that means you can only have three per, per deck. So I have no other. That might... Somebody's dead. Six K O. 
six for the KO. I'll start with attack complete. Okay. We'll start with your attack being complete. Anyways, this guy just took out my Naga. There's a motorcycle outside. I only have two. Alright. He can lose a gut. I prefer him losing guts than and anything. attacking oh in the next turn golly cannot attack did he read my hand did the NPC just read my hand see I have hot battle too it's a good card I kind of We'll keep one dodge card for each. I think that's the best way to go right now. Um, clutch is four. Uh, so we will have to dodge that. Oh, he's down to 20 cars. I'm down to 26. Okay. That's good to know. Is that... Ooh, that's deadly. That's one for two. Right? I'm going after, I kind of want to go after the hair first, but I feel like the golem is going to be better. With him keeping hot battle in play, it's better to just get rid of some cards. Oh, and Suezo's dead. He can't block or dodge anything else from now on. Like, if Suezo gets hit, Suezo gets hit. That's it. Only person that can survive now is Golly. Four for three? Adds two. This is already okay. So this is what I mean, and the environment is on. That makes this a two attack, right? For one, this is a critical. It increases. It adds two damage. So that already makes it four. Watch. This is what I mean by using a combo move, and I can kill the golem. Like, that's what I meant by saying, like, some, some, some cards can be comboed together. That's why Hot Battle is a good card and a bad card at the same time. Because now, mm, I don't think I have any more one cards for attacking. I'm just going to risk it. And try to kill the hair as fast as possible now. Either that or make him um, run out of... Ooh! I didn't have enough anyways, bro. That's what I mean. One hit KOs. He was saving up for that joint. And I have no more side rolls. have no more side rolls, bro. Fuck. 
I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into my gut step, and I'm just gonna straight up use bite. And if he dodges it, he dodges. Yeah! Yeah, bro, Jesus is right. Hi, I want to off. Oh no, uh-uh. That's a that's a scammer. Game thought big big risk, but it he won, he has one gut, yeah. Same thing, that's what I mean. Like you can he can win with the hair, bro. He can 100 percent win with the hair. 100 percent This game is not over. Not over at all. It's not over until every monster is is dead. Like I'm like me right now, I'm risking it all. He can dodge this. He can dodge this. It can either be over right now. Or I'm going to go for another few turns and I could die. Let's see. Oh, let's go. It's over and I win. And that's how you do it. Toy's hair suffered seven points of damage. Toy's hair was KO'd. Hmm. All of Toy's monsters have been KO'd. Landside is the winner. That's what I mean. High risk, high risk, high reward. High risk, high reward. That's what this game is about. Huh? It was a good fight. Yeah, no, it was it was a good fight. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. It was. It was. It, it had me on the tip of my tip of my toes there. Darn it, you win. Here. Remember, the bet to win is a monster card. Do those look like monster cards to you? Here are some skill cards. Thank you. Maybe you're good enough to play with them. Who are them? They are the guys I want to be like. Oh, don't tell anyone. We all know it, Toy. You want to join BCB. I was about to say none, none. It has the same letters as, as something else. Let's just say that. No. I don't even want to type it in the chat. I don't want to join BCB. I mean, be careful now when I, when I say that. I want to be in the BCB star group. BCB? <laughs> I am Mr. Nice Guy. I think you know what I'm talking about. BCB star group? They're BCB members. Why do they got me saying this so many times? This is going to be a running gag for the rest of this game. They're BCB members, but they're totally cool. They're totally cool. See, they play in a band and they, I can't explain. Go see them yourselves. They're always at the live house. I guess we will. Thanks. The BCB group. You gotta love the BCBs, bro. Now, let's see the new cards we've acquired. Remember, he just gave you skill cards, but you're supposed to be going for, uh... Monster cards. But he gave you a bunch of skill cards for hair. Which is good. Hair is a good monster card, bro. Like, footwork. Zero for a dodge. Dodge is either power or intelligent moves that uses more than two guts. But the risk is, if it uses zero guts, like slap or something... Or as is two guts, more than two guts. So it has to be three or more. So if it's exactly two, it won't dodge the move. Rush punch, that shit, that shit is what murdered me last last game. Spin fist is another one I like because it's four for six. Like it's and three for this is the this is the kind of moves you want to use with hair. Three for six. You wanna literally risk your hair's death. No offense to anybody who really likes the hair. But if this isn't dodged. Two damage will be given to this monster, right? So if hair hits a monster with super head, it does six damage to the monster, but it does two damage back to hair. That's why I'm like, that's why hair is good. This is what another reason. Headbutt, headbutt is one for four. If this isn't dodged, two damage will be given to this monster. But if you have a bunch of mangoes and like a pixie that's healing your hair constantly, which pixies can do, you can have a pixie hair and like golem combo and just fucking... Ooh boy, it gets crazy. This game is wild with the mechanics, man. Toy told us where the live house is. Anytime something is in yellow like that, that's a new location. Move in the menu can be used to move to a place. Lands out. Let's check the place out. 
Um, so I'm gonna save it real quick, just so I can, I wanna show you the live house, like location, but I'm not gonna go into it. I'm just gonna show you where it's at. And then we can move on from there. All right, so let's press triangle. All right, so you move and now the map opens up. So now there's this new location over here called the live house. But um, that's where I'm gonna end it for today. Uh, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your Thursday and I'll see you soon. Peace.